Welcome back to Kingdom Valley 06. In the last part, we did probably one of the most annoying of all the shadow levels, and now we have plot. Plot! It's the plot! The former king of Soliana used to reside in this castle, but a major accident occurred ten years ago. And no one's lived there this since. castle is way too dilapidated for it to be only 10 years old without maintenance. Energy engine failed, which that is true. I think the name for example, that moss on the wall over there? Couldn't have grown. Dr. Ragman hearing what they were just talking about? Didn't happen. It was an ambitious project, named after their eternal sun god. Doctor? It's been a while, my dear Rue. And of course, Shadow. Now, if you'd be so kind as to hand back the Scepter of Darkness you took from me. Uh, Eggman, I can homing chain all of these robots at once. Just about. I think what Eggman's trying to do is make it a game, finally. Games where you have fun. Games where you beat things. Okay, that was a terrible delivery, Rouge. Oh, Rouge. No! Huh. Okay, if you didn't want to break the scepter, why did you punch her instead of grab her? Yeah, Dr. Eggman. You made this happen. Huh. Oh no, it's Bongo Bongo. It's no use. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. All of your all of your robots are disabled. They can't pull back. They can't pull out. Yeah. They can't pull in. They can't laugh, shake their booty or grin. Huh. <laughs> It's Shadow's Shadow. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Mephilus. What? His shadow. Very good, Rouge. <laughs> oh, Hi, Dan right Green. Can be. I would never have believed I would be resurrected through your shade. I thank you, Shadow the Hedgehog. Thank you, Dan Green. Who are you? And how do you know my name? My name is Yugi. <laughs> Seriously, he sounds like a Tem. <laughs> I lost the We've not yet card uh, game. Mephilus, we haven't met yet. I was defeated by the world champion. I could completely lost my mind. Oh, yes. What you gave to me, I now return to you. A one-way ticket to oblivion. Ah! We're going to oblivion. We're going to oblivion. Huh, the hell gates are much spikier than I remember them being. So, Mephilus comes on a little, uh, how should I put this, uh, malevolently at first. Kind of makes me wonder why they trust him in the first what place. place? It seems we've been teleported to oh, wait, place. no, that's right. These guys don't trust him, but well, Silver and Blaze do at first. Yeah, Silver and Blaze trust him because, uh, because Mephilus already exists uh, in, in the future. Speaking of, we've not been teleported. We've been time-traveled. Who is he? Really? A sepia for, for literally a a two a two second uh, inner monologue? Well, yes. Because of course the audience needs to know the trope as well as the trope user. <laughs> My fingers are too big for these buttons. <laughs> No doubt now. 
So it's not where we are. It's why. <laughs> <laughs> it appears we've gone through time, doesn't it? Yes, approximately 200 years. Maybe more. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that somebody left this shit here so that the characters can figure this shit out? Question! And this is a very minor thing, but and it's not actually that important. How does this room have power? That is a very good question. I think that this this is what some people might call forced exposition. Yes. It, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be here so that people know what's going on. Here comes funny landing. Yay. And poor Knuckles. I don't feel bad for Knuckles. He needs he needs opportunities to test the strength of his skull. Where are we? Oh, look who's here. I didn't expect to see you guys. Rouge! Shadow! Hi. Long time no The line Lies, lies. Oh, long time no see. I just got that. <laughs> this is the distant future, far removed from our own time. That's not how timelines work, Shadow. Sometime in the past, events had skewed into an alternate timeline, causing a new dimension. To our own time. You need a space time rift, but this requires a lot of energy. And I only have two testicles. I see. You mean using your chaos control will? Yes, but that alone is insufficient. Why did you, you point at Sonic for that? I need your balls. I mean your gems. All right. Here we go into Crisis City. Crisis City. It's surprisingly more tol tolerable than uh, that other level, which I believe my ego defense is trying to protect me from. Ah. Hence, I can't remember it. We start off immediately in a vehicle section. <laughs> See, this is okay. I like being. I like starting off in a vehicle. I like having things to shoot. I like driving around. What I don't really care for is uh, instant death by pitfalls and losing my goddamn direction. Ah! It's a buggy. Yeah, it's a it's buggy, a and it controls buggy. like it's a, and it controls like it's infested with various bugs. You know what really grinds my gears? The fact that this buggy cannot survive this section. Yes. It it took falling damage. The fucking buggy took falling damage. <laughs> it's okay. Shadow can still go up, yay. He's it's just gonna take a little longer. You don't you need to kill the Ibis worm, dude. I know, I know, but this is if there's one thing I wanted to accomplish with Shadow. It's kill everything. In Shadow's world there is only death. Nothing was in your way, Shadow. Okay, cool. That's a reflection, I guess. Hold it. You find Why is there... <laughs> I, I could have swore that we just had a, 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 a shadow reflection on, on the ground while we were over in that on that area for a brief moment. Or it was the implication that the uh, ground was actually glass? Well, at least some objects can be reflected. What the fuck? Ah, uh, that was Shadow tripping over himself. And in the next part.
we climb over the construction girders in order to go even further into the beyond.